your parents, this shit high, boy. It is so ridiculous. Um, I don't know where to start with this thing. It's just a freaking machine. I mean, I test rode the, the Driftless, which is the aluminum version. And um, it was really nice, don't get me wrong, but it was really similar to the bike that I had. Um, this, because it's carbon, and uh, just some of the differences um, with the uh, internal storage on the down tube, um, the carbon fiber, it soaks up a little bit of the, uh, the bumps. And it's just a major upgrade as far as frame from my other bike. It's just so sick. So let's go over some of the components that I added to this bike. All right, so the first thing that I did was I converted it from a, a two by uh, to a one by. So it came with the GRX 600 uh, cranks and um, chain ring, uh, 4630. And I swapped that out for the uh, Wolf Tooth uh, 38 tooth oval. Uh, so that's one by right there. And then in the back, um, 11 to 42 cassette with the uh, GRX 812 derailleur. Uh, so all that's new. Um, I went from the 172.5 crank length to the 170. Uh, so a little bit shorter, helps me get my seat up a little bit higher, just more aero, and it's still super comfortable. And, you know, I've learned that shorter cranks is easier on your knees as well. Uh, so for the front the cockpit, I have the... Uh, GRX 800 uh, levers and brakes, including the uh, brake calipers, uh, came with the 400 series. And on the stem, I went with my shock stop suspension stem. Um, came with an 80 mil uh, stock stem, but I wanted a little more compliance. You can see here where the front derailleur uh, went, but also right here, which is pretty cool, it's a little chain guard. Carbon armor. Right here, kind of like mountain bike, protects your uh, frame from any rocks and kicked up, you know, getting kicked up. Um, I'm gonna add some matte, uh, you know, protection tape right in there on the seat tube. Uh, another cool thing about the seat tube is uh, this is called a ISO strut. So basically, this whole thing is separated from the top tube, right, and the uh, seat stay. So this whole thing flexes, kind of like this. Uh, so you get some compliance back there, helps smoothing out the bumps. Uh, the carbon frame also soaks up a lot of vibrations, you know, which is neat. So having the uh, suspension stem here and the ISO speed here, it's a little mini full suspension gravel bike, if you want to call it that. Got about 20 uh, millimeters of compliance up here, and I think it's about 10 back here. But, it, you know, I'm noticing a difference, not just placebo. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's look at the uh, internal frame storage called the burrito box so this little lever pops open like that and this comes off and then in there i have a little flat kit uh, which is pretty cool and um, has a focus there you go has a multi-tool kind of built in here and then the whole thing goes back on 
again one hand that's fun clicks in and there you go so oh and this bag's pretty neat see it has a little clip underneath and then you pull this little lever down and the whole seat pops off and then to put it back on and you can put this see push this down like that and you can put this on another uh, bike if you get another one of these clamps but if you want to use it pop it on done it's clicked in and you want to take it out like that click so that's pretty cool so this is the uh seat with the dropper down and to activate the dropper you use this lever right here so you pull that in and the seat pops back up which is pretty neat i dig it oh the uh tires i have the uh gr2 uh team issues just a hair grip here right but again um still pretty fast rolling um, and I went with the tan balls instead of the uh, black tires that were stock. So I have them front and back, which is pretty neat. Um, if you notice my um, stem caps, one is silver. The other is purple. And that has to do with this family members. My dad is Alzheimer's, my brother, uh, lung cancer. So little subtle uh, tribute to my family on the bike so you really, really got to look for it uh, but this way it shows that they're always with me absolutely in love with this bike i love the way it looks i love the way it handles i love the components that i put on it the tan walls dropper post i mean little things you know you're so close to your bike it's it's such an extension of you if you're truly into it um, and this is my midlife crisis corvette right uh, a little bit less money than the corvette thanks for joining um Click that like button if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe, please. And um, I'll see you out there. Enjoy the ride.